All right, good day. Welcome, loves. Welcome, Pisces. This is going to be a reading. I was kind of guided to do, to use this deck. All right, I'm going to try to get some more readings out. Um, I focus on the zodiac signs that I seem to channel the most. All right, um, I don't discredit all zodiac signs. I do them when I'm feeling pulled to. Um, but yeah, so this is what we have for the Piscean Collective out here. Oh, I thought one flipped over. All right, let's do two more shuffles and let's get to it here. I keep seeing pride. Are you a very prideful being? That's kind of what I'm getting. All right, so we have the relationship card here, all right, which is, oh, and then we have the friendship underneath that. All right, so what I'm really getting here is that you got to understand that people in relationships, friendships, um, love relationships, all that, it all happens for a reason. People come into your life for a reason. All right, so you have a friend here that I feel like you have a very close relationship to, but I also feel like there's like a little instability here. All right, um, you're being guided and you're being like, attracted towards people who are going to serve your highest good all right um, not everybody that is in your life at this moment is here to serve your highest good and you really need to do that deep introspection all right um, the one thing I really like to stress too is that you know just because we're born to a set of family and people doesn't mean we're obligated to have to like be loyal to them and put our needs and wants and true self aside to please them. That's what a lot of people got twisted nowadays is, oh, family is everything. Family over everything. Well, if your family is an asshole and a bitch and a manipulator or it's toxic, that don't matter. That's not family. That's a karmic. All right. Family can be your karmics. People got to understand that. All right. Not every family member is good for us. And you should not have to, and I see a lot of hypocrisy when it comes to this stuff, because a family member will do something and, oh, but that's family, I got to be there. But then there'll be some random person that they'll look down and be like, oh, why are you even this and that? Really? I don't know why I feel the need to say this, but it's time to end the hypocrisy. It's time to quit lying to yourself and others. All right, I feel like that, but we have worry here. Worry doesn't change anything. All right, so let's get one more out here for Pisces, please. All right, so people come into your life for a reason. It's part of your soul tribe, not your freaking blood tribe. <laughs> All right, y'all got to understand that. Life gets easier when you do. We have the fear. All right, so we have, wow, with the forgiveness. All right, so maybe you need to forgive this person because this person serves your highest good. All right, but you're feeling doubtful here. All right, maybe you really love this person. You're wondering if you can trust them. I feel like you envy their life. That's what I'm getting. Because I feel like you here are fearing and are very doubtful. And that's not healthy. All right. Release the resentment. All right. Because that blocks the flow of love. You need, I just keep seeing you need to live in the energy of love, Pisces, all right? And I feel like you can trust this person. Your inner voice is guiding you correctly, and you are the Knight of Cups in the Tarot, all right? And you need to follow your vibes. Commit to the practice of love and seeing the good in everything, all right? Don't fear things, don't doubt things, all right? So let's get for the Pisces here. All right, let's get to the Pisces. All right, let's do two more shuffles and get to it here. All right, last one here. So you need to either ask for forgiveness or offer forgiveness, one or the other. All right, so we're starting with the Four of Swords. So... I feel like, and then we have the Emperor here with the Fool, with the Six of Wands, with the Ace of Pentacles, the Temperance. There you are. There's that Knight of Cups. You need to follow your vibes here. You need to trust your feelings. You need to trust your intuition. And you need to let it guide you here. All right. The Knight of Cups speaks of forgiveness also. 
So uh, we got double forgiveness showing up here. And you're not going to be able to rest until this happens because this is a very high vibrating relationship or friendship or both. All right. I'm also getting it has the ability to be a beautiful relationship and a friendship at a whole in a whole. All right. So let's see for the relationship, the friendship, the fear and the forgiveness. So we have double forgiveness here, you guys. All right. Wow, then we have the Knight of Cups here. So I feel like everything is going to happen according to plan. All right, so just trust here. Trust your inner voice. Trust what it's telling you here. As a water sign, you're very intuitive. All right, wow, we have here. Um, your destiny is at a crossroads here because we do have the Two of Swords that flipped over with that. So right now, your destiny is at a crossroads. You and your person are at a stalemate there could be some blockages pisces there you are again all right i'm also getting that you're blocking out your happiness because whatever you have going on here you envy all right you may feel like somebody here is um has like less challenges than you maybe they have more freedom than you and you envy that but there's no use in envying envy is very low vibe Envy is your soul screaming out, saying, be that. Be what you envy. Go for what you envy. All right? So I feel like, yeah, there's there's blockages here. Somebody could have one another blocked here with the Two of Swords. Um, but, yeah, it's like the wheel wants to turn. We have the Three of Wands with the title card, yeah. All right, the title card is like your destiny in this deck, all right? That's how I view it. And you're doubting this. You have a lot of doubt because you think you need to know all the answers in order to um, believe is what I'm getting here. But I feel like everything is going to pull in when it's supposed to. Somebody could have been ghosted here, all right? I don't know if you're dealing with a fire sign or a Virgo, Um but it's all to help you see the bigger picture, all right? I feel like they withdrew their energy so you can um, realize this. All right. So we have the world here with the Seven of Pentacles. So what I'm getting is like you're just sitting here waiting. I feel like Spirit is also waiting for you to complete what needs to be completed. It's this forgiveness. All right. Spirit's waiting for you to forgive is what I'm getting. I feel like Spirit's watching you. You could be watching somebody here um, that gets public recognition, um, somebody who gets a lot of attention, a lot of praise. All right, that could be why you envy them. At the top, we have the tower. I've been channeling y'all Pisces Cappies for a while here um, where there's a very toxic Capricorn in your life. Um, that just brings nothing but chaos into your life here. All right, let's get a little bit more out here. You need to complete this. All right, you're never going to fully bloom. You're never going to fully get anywhere if you, if you don't do the gr growing, if you don't grow. All right, you need to water yourself, take care of yourself, tend to yourself like a delicate plant. But we have resistance here with the... Yeah, there could be somebody... There could be a fire sign that blocked you. It's somebody that I feel like you're supposed to be working with, collaborating with, or it's somebody that you work with here. But give me for the Seven of Wands. Give me for the Seven of Wands here. Why is the Seven of Wands here? We have the Tower, yep. Yeah. Something There was something that came in very quick, very fast, and it caused a big change, all right? You're feeling lost. You're feeling sad. You're feeling disappointed. There's that emperor again here. Um, I feel like you're feeling defeated when it comes to an earth sign here. But something came crashing down, and there needs to be forgiveness, all right, it could have been through, you know, messaging with the page here. And I feel like it was a surprise. I feel like it took you for a loop. All right, so who is this friend? Who is this friend for Pisces? All right, so forgiveness is key, you guys. 
So whoever you're dealing with, real, realize forgiveness is the answer here and to um, practice and commit to love here. The Six of Wands wanted to come out again. All right. We have the Two of Cups. So yeah, this is who your love is. All right, that you're supposed to be building with, working with. There's that Empress here. It's a very giving energy. It's like the Queen of Cups. They know how to take care of you. They know how to tend to your needs. Um, but with double sevens back to back, I feel like it's saying, like, how many more warnings does Spirit have to give you here? How many more signs and synchronicities? So I sp I'm feeling like you're seeing signs and synchronicities. All right. So the Two of Cups is here. This is a divine relationship, friendship here. And it's in your life to help you. To help you bring about change and growth in your life here. All right. Maybe you guys are going to be together. Let's try that again. That's way too many. All right. Ace of Swords here, the Chariot. All right, so you need to get some type of clarity. I feel like you're obsessing over this too. Because you don't know if you can trust this person or your vibes. Don't be arrogant. Don't be egotistical when it comes to your apology, all right? Jeez. All right, let's get this wrapped up for Pisces. We have the Eight of Pentacles. So this is where your focus is supposed to be. Maybe you're focusing on work here too. Um, we'll see here we have, all right. So you need to focus on taking action. It may have something to do with going home, but we do have here some worry when it comes to some new start, new beginning. Yeah, you could be dealing with the fire sign here. All right, you're being driven. You're being guided here to heal this. You need to find the strength here to do this. Like I said, you're not gonna see everything. You're not gonna know everything. But follow your intuition, follow your gut. All right, quit stressing, quit worrying. Some of you might need to like take quick action and go back home here with the four of wands or travel towards this person, but you're really fucking stressing and worried about this situation here. All right, so let's get one more card out here. Yeah, I feel like you feel like you lost out on something because I feel like with this person gone out of your life here, um, if they're blocked off from you, yeah, that's hitting you hard because you guys have a soul connection. Yeah, see, the Five of Cups, it wants to be here. All right, yeah, look at that. You are just sad as fuck that this ended here. And look at this. This was the whole purpose, was to awaken you, to open you up, to see the reality, the truth of where your life and destiny is supposed to be here. All right, we have Aries here. We have Scorpio. All right, we have Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, and you Pisces. So you can, you know, but I don't like to, like I say, get hung up on the zodiac signs. So pretty much forgiveness, forgive. All right, don't hang on to hate and anger and resentment and doubt and needing to know all the answers, like with the moon. Some things are done behind the scenes, all right? And you're not going to see and know everything. But you need to trust in this person. This person is teaching you how to love, how to see love, how to view love, how to forgive, how to release fear and doubt. All right? So it's here to wake you up. This person is here to wake you up. All right? So don't discredit this person that comes into your life or that came into your life. All right, Pisces? So I'm going to leave that there, loves. Feel free to hit that like, subscribe, and share.